Hello, hello. Um, my words today were blood and oil. My words today are blood and oil. I was able to tap into um, the blood of Jesus. I mean, trust me, guys, when I tell you, going through seven straight days, two weeks in a row, when I woke up this morning, I could not not do it. Um, I could not not perform, not execute the um, challenge. So that blessed my heart because before I was struggling to just meet the challenge. Now it's to the point, it's like, I, I can't keep going without not doing it. Um, so I wanted to share the blessing of the reading of the blood. Now, mind you, we do have um, a document with all of the different um, body parts covered by the blood. But this particular book, Prayers That Rock Demons, is great for deliverance. Um, it is by John Eckert. Um, and as you can see, yes, as you can see, it says prayers for defeating demons and overthrowing the power of darkness. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share a reading. I'm going to start at least for the next two weeks as we exit, just putting in different readings to encourage you to be delivered um, and then to cover you with the different parts of the body, different parts of the blood over the body. Okay, here we go. Releasing the power of the blood. I cover my mind and my thoughts with the blood of Jesus. I cover my doorposts and possessions with the blood of Jesus. I overcome the devil through the blood of Jesus. This is from Revelations 12 and 11. Um, I cover the doorposts and possessions with the blood of Jesus. That is from Exodus 12 and 13. In case you want to do your own research, it's very good to follow up on the scriptures. So um, forgive me for not saying the scripture. I will say the scripture after everyone I, I read that has a scripture. How about that? Praise God. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus and receive multiple grace and peace. First Peter 1 and 2. I am made perfect through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Hebrew 13, 20 through 21. I have boldness to enter the presence of God through the blood. Hebrews 10, 19. My conscience is pure, is purged from dead works to serve the living God through the blood of Jesus. Hebrews 9, 14. I eat the body of Jesus and drink his blood. John 6, 54. I have redemption through the blood of Jesus and I am redeemed from the power of evil. Ephesians 1, 7. I rebuke all spirits of torment and fear because I have peace through the blood of Jesus. Colossians 1, 20. I receive the benefits of the new covenant through the blood of Jesus. Matthew 26 and 28. I receive healing and health through the blood of Jesus. I receive abundance and prosperity through the blood of Jesus. I receive deliverance through the blood of Jesus. I receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit and the anointing through the blood of Jesus. None of those had scriptures to go with it, but it does not mean it does not apply. The blood of Jesus bears witness to my deliverance and salvation. 1 John 5, 8. The blood of Jesus cleanses me from all sin. 1 John 1 and 7. Jesus resisted unto blood and his blood gives me victory. Hebrews 12 and 4. I rebuke and cast out all spirits of guilt, shame, and condemnation through the blood of Jesus. I break the power of sin and iniquity in my life through the blood of Jesus. Hebrew 10, 17. My heart is sprinkled and purified by the blood of Jesus from all evil conscience. Hebrews 10, 22. I rebuke Satan, the accuser of the brethren, through the blood of Jesus. Revelations 12 and 10. I command all my accusers to depart through the blood of Jesus. First, that's John 8 and 10. I rebuke and cast out all spirits of slander and accusation through the blood of Jesus. Matthew 12 and 10. 
I release the voice of the blood against demons and evil spirits that would accuse and condemn me. Hebrews 12 and 24. Thank you. That was um, releasing the power of the blood on page 32, page 33, and page 34 of Prayers That Rock Demons. Um, if you have it, read it, use it. It's a great tool. Warrior Thunder, out. Thank you.